A bit of a warning before I begin discussing the topic of this video. If you're a dog owner, or really just an animal lover in general, you may want to tread carefully, as this video does relate to animal abuse. Even me, who is known to not be much of a fan of dogs, am disgusted by this story because I have basic empathy for innocent creatures, something that the people I'm going to discuss in this video clearly lack. Anyway, Christy Nome, South Dakota's current governor and also one of the top contenders to be Trump's VP, wrote a book about herself recently. And in this book, as a way to demonstrate that she can make difficult choices when needed, she decided to share a personal story where she shot a 14-month-old dog in the head. Why did she decide to kill her dog? Because apparently she wanted to train it to become a hunting dog, and it wasn't responding positively to the training it was receiving. She also said that the dog was overly energetic, and apparently it killed a few of the neighbor's chickens. The dog was a wire-haired pointer, and people who are experts in that specific dog breed say that those dogs are just naturally very energetic. And not to mention the dog she shot was only 14 months old. That is still considered a puppy. Sharing this story proves nothing besides that you're a very impatient and deeply unempathetic person. Just because a puppy isn't responding effectively enough to training doesn't mean it's this fucking lost cause that you now have the grounds to shoot in the face. Invest in more training. Be more patient with your dog whose breed is, again, naturally very energetic. Or if you just cannot tolerate this fucking dog, she even point blank said in her book that she hated it. I don't know, maybe give it to someone who you know would be able to control it better or give it to a shelter. There are so many different avenues you could have gone in that were not just shoot this dog in the fucking face. Oh, and this dog wasn't the only victim of Christie's. She also wrote about killing a goat that was causing her trouble. Unfortunately, that goat didn't receive the instant death her dog received. She missed her shot and instead hit an area where the shot didn't kill the goat instantly. So the goat died a miserable, agonizing death. What a person, am I right? This is totally a woman you would want to be in second place in the world's most powerful office. This is actually one of the very few stories I have seen that has brought people together, regardless of their political affiliation, to lambast her in unison. Because I'd say most, or at least half of the household in this country has a dog, or a cat, or both. Dogs are a common household pet that millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people in this country feel attached to. So it begs the question, why the fuck did you think it was a good idea to share this story? Did you think that the average American citizen is going to read this and be like, wow, Christy Nome is such a rational, level-headed person, and she was able to make the difficult decision to shoot her dog in the fucking face because it wasn't responding well to training. What a relatable and rational person. No, no one who doesn't have a severe disconnect in their fucking brain is going to think that. Plenty of people out there have difficult pets. I have a friend who just lost his dog last month. His dog was actually the same age as my cat Charlie when he passed away. 15, which is actually a very long life for a dog. Before his dog slowed down due to old age and getting sick, that dog was bursting at the seams with energy. I actually talked about that dog a few months ago in my dog rant. That dog would always go on its hind legs and start barking in my fucking face. I even remember my friend telling me a few times, yeah, that dog is a pain in the ass to control, but I still love him. I've had him since I was a kid. It never crossed his mind to shoot that fucking dog because the dog was difficult to control. And such a drastic action doesn't cross the minds of most pet owners in this country because most people feel empathy for animals, especially house pets. Most people view their pets as part of their family, and they could never imagine in a million fucking years inflicting any harm on their pets, especially shooting them in the fucking face. But there is one person coming to the defense of Christy Gnome. Michael Knowles, conservative commentator from the Daily Wire, who, you know, once said that he wants to quote-unquote eradicate transgenderism, which totally doesn't have any genocidal implications. And he said, while Christy Nome candidly admitting this was very stupid because it is now a PR nightmare for her and may have actually killed her future in politics, what she did actually isn't so bad because her dog experienced a quick and painless death. You just don't understand because you didn't grow up on a 
farm like she did. This is how farm people handle shit like this, Old Yeller style. Old Yeller was set in what, the 1850s, before a lot of modern medicine, before euthanasia, so yes, in the context of that time period, one of the most humane ways to prematurely put down a dog would be shooting it in the head. But now, we are kinda sorta almost 200 years removed from when that story took place. We have much more humane ways to put down a dog these days, and a much better understanding of how to train dogs that may be difficult to control. On top of being deeply unempathetic, Christy Nome is also fucking lazy. She couldn't be fucked to put in the extra effort and patience to train her dog, so she just snuffed it out. And that is the exact issue people are taking with what Christy Nome did. It isn't just that she shot her dog, it is also the fact that she killed a puppy for acting exactly how a puppy in that specific dog breed would act. And didn't bother taking the millions of other different avenues that didn't involve the dog dying. And he also says, well, it's not like she tortured the dog while it was alive, that we know of at least. And he expands upon this point by saying, well, if she did do that, then that would be wrong because animals don't have rational souls, but we do. So when we abuse animals, we are deadening our souls and humanity. Like... What? When I hear that an animal is being abused, I am far more concerned for the safety of that animal and the harm being inflicted upon it than the soul and humanity of the person inflicting the abuse. But you're more concerned with religious mumbo-jumbo and what would God think than the suffering being imposed on an innocent animal, which showcases a severe disconnect with you too, Michael Knowles. And do you really not think that her shooting a dog when it didn't need to be shot doesn't deaden her humanity, the fact that you have such a difficult time grasping why people are so outraged over this really leads me to question your relationship with animals. And you just know, if this was a Democrat politician just happily admitting that they murdered a puppy, he would go on a scathing rant about how disgusting of a person they are. But because this is someone on his side of the political aisle, and someone who, at least just up until a few days ago, was one of the top contenders to be Trump's VP, he has to bend like a fucking pretzel to defend something that is so clearly indefensible. Please, keep these people the fuck away from animals. Fucking sickening. If Charlie was still here, I'd be giving him a nice belly rub right now to get my mind off of this shit. That's all I have to say. Bye bye